Good morning, Ken here, and today we're going to do part three of our strobe adapter videos. So this one's going to be on the Icolite strobes. It'll be rather quick. So on the smaller substrobes or the larger strobes, we have a part that slides into here and screws in with one little screw. This is called the AD125. And that would be this part right here, AD125. It slides in the strobe and we supply the screw and there's a spare screw here. These are very teeny fine threaded screws. So if you do have one of these, please do yourself a favor, remove it once in a while, put a little silicone grease on there and then tighten it back up. Because if you don't, it's going to get stuck and then it's going to break off when you try to take it and remove it. So a little silicone grease, that's the tip of the day. Uh, the other part that we have, I don't have a strobe to show you how it would go on, but we have an AD200. You can see right here. This mounts onto the Icolite AD200 or the Icolite 200 strobe. And if you're one of the lucky few out there that happen to have the Icolite Slave TTL, we do make a part called the AD-TTL. This will slide onto this slave, stro uh, slave unit. And what you would do is you would end up using a triple clamp to connect these two together with an arm. And then you could use this to fire your strobe. So uh, other than that, these are what we sell for the Icolite strobes. Have a great day and happy photographing.